Welcome to Readability. I'm your host, Ashley Kelson. In Readability, we read all kinds of stories, from short storybooks to large chapter books. You could sit down with family or just lay back and relax. Every Saturday, we read, review, and recommend different books for your listening pleasure. I really hope you enjoy Readability. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Readability. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. For this episode, I am doing another review, one of my Battle of the Books books. Well, I really don't have much to say, so let's just get straight into the episode. Catching a Storyfish is a poetry novel by the author Janice N. Harrington. It follows Catherine Walker, better known as Keep Keep Parakeet because she talks so much. A girl who moving from Alabama to another state and school because her parents believe it'll be better for them. Better school, better work, and better pay. Kiki doesn't want to leave everything she loves behind in Alabama, and she thinks her family has made a bad choice of moving there. As the story goes on, we meet Allegra, or Alligator, Kiki's new neighbor who can spell anything. At first, the two aren't fast friends. It does take a bit for them to start hanging out. At school, Keith's new classmates start making fun of her southern accent. For example, she pronounces yellow as yella, and more things that make her feel really, really bad about herself. When she's at home, she has her grandpa and her little brother, Noba, who she calls Nose because he's so nosy, who she has a close relationship with and goes fishing. It's not until something really unfortunate happens that brings Keith down even more. In the end, Kiki makes tons of friends, starts telling stories like she used to at her old school, writing, and gets used to her new home. This book is really, really heartwarming, and I love the poetic style. Janice creates clever and fun poems to fill this book with. Along with that, she explains the different styles of poems she uses for the readers to understand and learn more about poetry. Janice is a great author and makes this tale full of great emotions. There are 224 pages in this book. There are nine chapters with many sub-chapters in them. This book did not win an award. The author of Catching a Storyfish is Janice N. Harrington. The publishing brand is Wordsong. If I had to rate this book, I would definitely give it a four out of five stars. The story is really great and super emotional. The way Janice writes the poems and creates the story is really out of the box and different from some books I've read. That's what makes Catching a Storyfish stand out a lot. The characters had a good amount of growth and makes the story relatable to kids who have moved and are forced to leave everything they love behind, like me. I really enjoy this book, and I would read it again. So, if I had to recommend this book, I wouldn't have trouble doing so. It's a very enjoyable story, and I think many of my close friends will enjoy Keith's story and all the poems in it. I can see why someone wouldn't like this book as much as I would, probably because of the way the author writes the story or the wording, but nonetheless, I would definitely recommend this. It's super fun, and I love it. It's time to get onto my highlights of this book. Warning, I feel like I could be talking about way more if I spoiled some things, so be prepared for some spoilers, and not all highlights are necessarily good. Number one, when Ki and Allegra finally become friends, it's really heartwarming to me. Ki has always been trying to find a friend in her new town, and now that she's finally found an alligator as a friend, it's really nice knowing that. By the way, alligator is Allegra. Number two, a sad part in this book is when Keat's grandpa has a stroke. The way Janice writes the close relationship between Keat and her grandpa makes this event ten times more valuable. It's really sad, and I applaud Janice for making this event in the story super sad. And number three, Noah and Keat's brother and sister relationship is really cute, and siblings can relate to like what they banter about and what it's like to have siblings. I myself can relate to these um events they go through as siblings because I, myself, have a little brother. It is now time for my personal favorite segment of a review, my character thoughts. As we may know, Ki is having a tough time fitting in at her new school, and I think because of its flaw of hers, she becomes a more relatable character that many kids can connect to.
She starts to grow and becomes more confident with her new friends and meets them along the way. Speaking of new friends, Allegra is a new friend of Keith and is willing to hang out with someone who is made fun of and is very new to the school. I think Allegra is really kind and unique, and so is Keith. Unlike other stories I reviewed on this podcast, we don't have any villains or heroes, but I think this story had a pretty good plethora of characters. I don't have any characters that I didn't like. Maybe John Royale, the kid who was making fun of Keith, but my favorite characters have to be Grandpa or Noah. Both have a fun and cheery attitude that brings a smile to your face. I love those two, and I think they are my favorite. As always, I hope this episode introduced you to the world of poetry, and more specifically, catching a storyfish. Have a great day, and I'll see you next week. Here's our official readability ending. Thank you for joining me, your host, Ashley Kelson, on Readability. It has been a really great time, and I hope you join me again next week. Remember, every Saturday we either read, review, or recommend a book for your listening pleasure. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Keep reading, folks. Bye!